So today's session was a bit unorthodox for me. Um, I'm never really used to resistance bands. They're a completely new tool that I've only recently implemented. And, um, you know, I'm actually really starting to like how well you can manipulate it for um, intensity and specifically isometric holds. Um, in future, I'm hoping to try and bring in like some dynamics. So handstand presses and um, all of those uh, extra straight arm work. But for now, there's still, there's definitely a lack of experience and I'm very naive about the freedom and the potential of these resistance bands. Now, another thing that I wanted to mention was, is that I only did straight arm isometric stuff specific for the planche in this session. Um, for my bent arm, for my dynamic bent arm work, I opted for some weights and I did like bench press, um, incline bench dumbbells and overhead press. Surprisingly, I've realized that um, the planche sessions and or a lot of the bulk shoulder work that comes with these sessions is not going to waste. I am actually improving in strength and it's objectively shown in my overhead press. I'm feeling a lot stronger. Um, I hardly ever touch overhead press. Last time I touched it, I think I attempted 60 kilos for like one rep. I managed to do that and I do remember that um, it, it was a very unusual feeling. So the fact that when I did those today and they felt rather light and I was able to get in like a good um, working set, it surprised me how much of the um, strength that's really um, manifesting and showing itself. Now, um, going into the strato going into like the planche specifically, I think um, I'm going to be putting in the resistance bands as a clear um, as a clear training method, uh, method to just like continue and use as a staple form of work and stimulus for the rest of my planche gains. Now, um, I think now that I've been pretty accustomed to the normal training schemes, so just doing like my um, straddle holds at the start, a bit of isometrics, um, a bit of like dynamic straight arms, so like the piking planche leans, and then doing uh, pseudo planche push ups. I think I'm going to have to start to change it up and bring about a new stimulus or a, um, a difference in training schemes for the future of my uh, planche progression, specifically because I think I've gotten used to this training stimulus and my body's adapted and I need a new stimulus to promote new um, I don't know, grady gains and like just to further maximize or like facilitate my planche progression. That's why I think that the resistance bands is going to be essential for this. Um, a lot of people in the comment sections have suggested using resistance bands. Um, when I looked into like gymnastics forums, they've all said that uh, resistance bands is an emulation of a coach helping you. They provide you assistance and they hold you in the position and it maximizes your uh, understanding of the full movement. So like the full planche isometric hold. If you are using, if you're like already in the position, but all that's left is just load and the stimulus, then you're pr like, you're providing yourself with practical use and practical stimulus for you to better understand the planche movement. So you're not um, opting for like easier progressions that may not actually have the right amount of leaning and the positioning and balancing that's required for the full planche. This is something I'm always advocating for. So like, why am I always doing short isometric holds and why am I going for like high intensity? Well, it's because I want to maximize my understanding of the planche position. So that means with resistance bands, I'm able to opt for easier um, easier loads, but with the same planche variations. So I'm able to do, do like the straddle planche, but for longer durations, or even do the full planche for uh, specific durations, but with easier load, load management, thereby allowing me to maximize the neurological understanding while maintaining the strength potential and the, I guess, like the integrity of my own strength demand. Because I understand my position right now, that I'm not, I don't have the full strength for the full planche, then if I'm opting for the resistance band option, then like, like I said, I'm probably going to be, like theoretically, I'm probably gonna be able to promote a lot of new stimulus and I guess just 
continue to progress with the plunge. I'm really so basically I'm really looking forward to the potential of resistance bands and I'm going to try and make it a staple form in my future plunge sessions. So yeah, that's basically it and I'll finish it off here.